With warm weather already here for some of us and quickly approaching for others, we have the annual issue of ticks in dogs. Ticks are no joke for dogs, just like it's no joke for humans and can present some really scary, deadly diseases. So we really have to do everything possible to protect them from ticks and also learn how to find and remove them. So let's get into how to find, remove, and protect against ticks in dogs. Let's start with protecting against ticks in our dogs. My absolute favorite is this oral tick medication that my dog takes once a month and that your vet can prescribe you. Basically, our vet explained that how it works is that in the moment a tick latches onto your dog who has taken this oral um, little supplement thing, it immediately dies because of the medicine working in the dog's bloodstream. Please correct me if I'm wrong if there's any vets in the comments, um, but basically this is my favorite thing against ticks because of how effective it is. Whenever Mochi has a tick on him that we didn't find during our like daily search of him, we'll find it dead on the floor within like the next 20 minutes of a walk because this medication is really working. Now let's move on to how to find and remove the ticks. In the warmer months, usually between like March and October, it's super important to check your dog every single day for ticks um, at the end of the day after all their walks and especially if your dog has thick fur like mochi. But the good news is that it doesn't take a lot of effort to check for them. So the first thing you wanna do is put your dog into a position where they won't be you know, running away from you and they're nice and calm. And you're just gonna to want to pet your dog all over their body, starting from at their head, behind their ears is a really common place, um, in their armpits is a really common place, in their chest is super, super common, and in their belly is really common. And you definitely want to check extra for the extra fuzzy, fluffy parts of your dog. Um, so what you're looking for when you're patting your dog down like this is just this little bump. It literally feels like a pimple on your dog's skin. You wanna to be touching you know, deep into their fur on their skin. You don't wanna be hurting them obviously, but you do want to you know, check their skin, not their fur. And again, it feels like a big pimple. So when you find it, um, you wanna separate your dog's fur so that their skin is exposed to, to your naked eye and you'll see like a little black dot and then you know it's a tick. So once you've found the tick or ticks, how to remove them depends on the tools you wanna to use. So you can either use like a tweezer or you can use those like tick removers they have. Um, there's little gadgets, but the most important thing here is that when you remove them, you wanna make sure you got their whole body. If any part of the tick is like still in your dog's body, like it's still latched on, that could be super dangerous because then they could still transmit the disease. Of course, this is another reason why you wanna protect against these ticks because again, if you take the oral medicine, like they'll die anyway as soon as they latch on. If you take the necessary precautions and you know follow your personal protocol of how to find these ticks, it's really no big deal. It's disgusting, but you're helping your dog and that's all that matters. If you're ever in a situation where you can't get a tick off, it's totally fine to take them to the vet and then they can make sure that they remove it safely, but it's always great to know how to do it at home since it happens more often than we'd like. Now that you know how to take ticks off your dog and also protect against ticks in your dog, make sure to check out the video linked here on the screen about how I groom Moji at home for our maintenance grooming.